Hi there, my name is Julia Hamer and we're here at the University of Sydney and I'm studying in the School of Medicine. I'm a second year medical student and I'm going to show you what it's like to have a day in my life. Come on into the Great Hall. So here we are in the Great Hall. So the shot that you saw outside the building, you can tell it's a pretty old building. Well, it's actually one of the oldest buildings on campus, built in the 1850s. So the University of Sydney is actually the oldest university in all of Australia, and one of the oldest in the world. This is where we'll actually graduate in three years time, or two years time now. Now that I'm a second year medical student, I have another two years left of school after this year, and we'll end up in the Great Hall just like we began in the Great Hall. the Abercrombie building. It's the School of Business, but our medical faculty hosts a lot of our lectures in here. So I'll take you inside and show you one of our lecture halls. So we're here in the Abercrombie building where we host most of our lectures for medical school, and we also have group-based learning. And so in a room like this, just a small seminar room, we'll work in teams of five to six students, and we'll try and solve some sort of case. So this morning we had a case that was on stroke and we worked together to go over the pathophysiology, the mechanism, why this lady would get a stroke, looking at the imaging, other investigations that we would order while working with different tutors that are experts in the field. So we had a neurologist as well as a cardiologist. So for me personally, when I was 16 years old, I signed a Division I scholarship down to the United States to play at the University of Connecticut in volleyball. So my goal as a human at that point in my life was just to be an athlete. But this is when I realized that sport, although it's fulfilling and lovely, that it still kind of felt a bit selfish in nature. And I knew that there was so much more that I could give to the world. And again, that spark that went off in my first neuroscience lecture really started to take over my life that I wanted to explore more. And so I know I was at a turning point with, okay, I finished my master's, do I want to create or complete a PhD or do I want to go in medicine because the more I learned about the brain the more I realized that it's actually connected to this entire beautiful body and the more you know about the body and the intricacies of the body and how that connects to the brain the better neuroscientist that you can become so I decided a career in medicine is probably the best choice for me I love being with people I love talking to patients and being behind a microscope or behind MATLAB on a computer doing neuroimaging wasn't 100% fulfilling, it was interesting, but I needed that human interaction. So I decided to apply for medical school and the University of Sydney was just a perfect option for me. Not that it's super important, but it is one of the top medical schools in the world. So looking at world rankings, it does rank quite high, um, always within the top 20 to 30 schools. So for me, having being at a school with a good reputation of academic excellence was important, especially being at the University of Toronto before. I wanted that similar high level of academic, yeah, prestige or integrity, however you want to define that. So applying to medical school can be a very daunting and stressful experience. I personally have applied for medical school for four years in a row, so I totally understand if you happen to be in that position right now, I get it been there. Don't give up. If you want to be a doctor, you will be a doctor. It may not be the school you thought of originally, but you'll get into a school and you'll be exactly where you're meant to be. So for me, I applied to a couple of different medical schools. Um, I wrote my MCAT, which is the medical school admissions test for the United States and Canada. And that test score is good to apply to schools in Canada, the US, as well as internationally. But if you're from Australia and you're applying from either within New South Wales, so within the state or external to the state, um, usually you write your GAMSAT. So there's similar standardized tests, different formats, but at the end of the day, standardized tests are standardized tests. They're a pain in the butt, but you got to do them and study hard for them. And it's an interview process. You'll have five to six different stations, an interviewer at each station. I did mine via Skype. So I got into all of the schools I applied to in Australia, but Sydney was my number one choice, so accepted that in a blink of an eye, and here we are.
So there's tons of places on campus that you can have incredible food, but there's over 20 bars and restaurants on campus. So whether you want an acai bowl or a glass of wine, maybe the bottle, after classes, uh, these are some great places to have a drink and eat and hang out with friends. So we're here at one of my favorite restaurants called Forum, but it's a very social atmosphere on campus, I think because of all the restaurants that people are outside, they're having a good time, and we're not just indoors studying all the time. There really is that study hard balance, but also play hard balance. So my biggest advice if you're choosing whether or not you want to go to medical school or which medical school to choose, I don't think you can go wrong. No matter what direction life takes you, you can always change and new opportunities are going to emerge, new pathways. Every decision you make is just an opportunity to learn more about yourself, to grow as an individual and as a person. And I think the more life experience you get, the older you get, the more wisdom you gain and you'll make the right choice that is meant for you at that time. So if you've already chosen a school and you want to change your mind, don't regret that choice. That choice led you to a new opportunity and that new opportunity is going to lead you to more opportunities. So enjoy the moments, enjoy exactly where you are right now. It's going to change, so just be happy about what you have and always think about bright opportunities for the future. Bon appetit! <laughs>